everyone. Today we have a project for the outside, so we try to get out here early before the you know, afternoon sun starts. We're going to add a brick wall here behind me in the front garden area. This particular brick is already part of our front landscape where we created half walls. And this area just sort of needs a divide because the mulch always falls off because there's a tiny hill here and then right before the road starts. So we figured uh, let's just continue with that stone brick and make a nice introductory wall sort of. All right, let's get started. This is the area that we're going to be working in today. We have a sort of border here before the road starts and all this mulch just always sloughs off. So wall is gonna go here and then behind to sort of a divide between the neighbor's area there. For reference, it's in our front area where we have the Japanese blueberries, our front garden, and that stone wall back there is what the stone we're gonna use up here. So we're gonna get at it, remove some of these roots, place some gravel and start building up the wall. got overheated we just wanted to give you guys an update on where we are now we've gotten in the corner the edge and pretty much this front part and we're kind of getting over trying to level each stone but you want to add some gravel and add sand and then use your leveler to make sure that each stone and in between the each stone is also uh, measured and keeping that straight line so we just wanted to give you guys an update we're gonna finish this add an adhesive to see how many extra stones we have to begin the second layer and from there determine if we want to do just the two or add a third layer on top of that um, just based on wanting these to show just a little bit but not too much so yeah this is our update and we'll give you guys an update when we finish as well And now here is the final project. 
But again, it took like uh, about a weekend because it needed to take some time to dry each layer of gluing each stone. But for the most part, a good day of full effort. We did add a, a hefty layer, like three to four inches layer of mulch all the way around because we did not want weeds or grass to grow in between like out and through the wall. So adding a good hefty layer of mulch behind the wall, I think will help suppress that. I added a few more of these jasmine vine to the right where it had just been soil. So our hopes is this is going to be a like a large rectangle of these jasmine vines. Every now and then we'll get the white blooms, but we like the green vining look if that can form a nice compact rectangle and take up this whole space with just a few of those dotted alliums behind. I think will be a really nice look for all around. And that's it. Thank you everyone for joining in today's video. I hope if this inspires you that you have um, a good time making <laughs> a statement piece in your garden as well. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you in the next one. I plan on doing the April garden tour very soon, so stick around for that.